Hey guys, Modeling Weekly here, and happy 2024. I know it's a bit late for that, given we're already a month in, but life's been pretty relentless in these first few weeks. Still though, I'm back at it with videos now, and what better way to kick off the new year than by covering a group build that took place halfway through last year. <laughs> Jokes aside though, in this video we'll be taking a look at the favourites group build that took place on my Discord server midway through last year, enjoying all of these beautiful builds that you guys submitted. This was a very well received and diverse group build, so there's a lot of cool stuff to cover. We'll also be highlighting the top 3 builds chosen by myself, Aiden, Aaron and Aki over on my Discord, along with the build that the community voted for. So without further ado, let's jump right in with the first submissions. Before we do that however, I'll just quickly run over the group build brief. It's a pretty self-explanatory one, as the only condition was to choose a category of models, and to build your favourite subject in that category. As you can imagine, this produced a broad range of results, so please sit back and enjoy the video. Regular viewers of the channel will know by now that we always kick it off with non-competition entries, so let's do just that. There were only three in this category this time around, however, submitted by my server moderators Aiden and Aki. It seems everyone was in it to win it for this GB. Right off the bat we have some Gundam, coming from Aiden, a category of models making its debut on the channel with this group build. Specifically, it's an MG Gundam F91, and I have to say it's looking pretty good. I'm far from an expert on Gundam, so I can't analyse it in a huge amount of detail, however I think Aiden's done some superb work here. The shading really brings it to life, along with the light weathering, and that additional lighting is also a fantastic feature. All in all, it gets the thumbs up from me. Next up is the first tank submission, and it is of course the iconic Soviet T-54, submitted by Aki. For an absolutely tiny kit such as this, I think there's some great work that's been done here. The colour grading and layering in that Russian green paint job is superb, which really makes the tank pop when paired with the subtle dust and grime weathering. I'm especially a fan of those dust streaks on the upper glacis plate, absolutely fantastic stuff. Aki's second submission definitely mixes things up a bit. This is the master grade GOG, which following a little bit of research I've discovered is an amphibious suit from Gundam. With the context of amphibious activity, you can really see the attention to detail that Aki has put into this build. The shading is smooth and well applied, and that weathering is truly superb. I'm a big fan of those mossy patches here and there on the suit, as it really emphasises that marine background to the model. All in all, a pair of fantastic submissions, making up the trio of submissions in this category. Before we move on to the competition category, I'd just like to say a huge thanks to the guys that made this all possible, our very own staff team over on my Discord server. Aiden, Aki and Aaron are absolutely great guys, and are crucial in making sure that the group builds run smoothly, especially when I'm getting sidetracked or procrastinating. Jokes aside, a massive thanks goes out to you three, I can't thank you all enough. With that, let's take a look at these competition builds. I've decided to present these builds in a slightly different way to usual, as I feel it'll be far more engaging for both my regular viewers and the participants themselves. Instead of reading out all the entries, and then the winners separately at the end, I'll present every single build together, and then announce the winners out of that pool at the end. You'll all be on the edge of your seats, I can promise you that. <laughs> anyway, enough waffle, let's see these beautiful builds. First up, we have a fantastic F-35B in 172nd scale, built by, funnily enough, 172 Idiocracy. I may be a bit biased here, but this is definitely the best variant of the F-35 to go for. Idiocracy has gone for a fantastic beast mode setup on his model, and it really came off in my opinion. The overall effect for the model is really nice. Thanks so much for the submission, and I definitely agree with your choice given the GB topic. Next up is a beautiful tropical Spitfire from Arkai, who's chosen the Eduard Southern Star boxing of the kit. I've always loved the RAF tropical scheme, and this model definitely does it justice. The camouflage and shading is on point, and I particularly love the dusty appearance given to the model through weathering. 
it really helps to add to the context of a desert based aircraft. Arkai, very well done with this and thank you for submitting. Back to modern jets with this next build. It is of course the iconic F-16C built by Beaver Chicken, a regular attendee for these group builds. This is truly a beautiful model with beautiful demarcation lines between the camo colours and a pretty nice weathering complement to go with it. You guys definitely didn't make our lives easy when it came to choosing the winners. Overall, it's a very beautiful model and thanks goes out to Beaver Chicken for submitting it. It's another tank. We're dipping into the realm of 135 scale with this next build submitted by Bubba145. It is of course the Stug 3G, complete with a stunning Zimmerit facade. The weathering on this build is just beautiful, with a pretty nice balance between shading, grime and mud effects. I'm also a massive fan of that stowage, specifically the fabric effects that you have going on there. That is some superb stuff. Overall, it's a fantastic representation of the original vehicle, and my thanks go out to Bubba for building in this GB. We're diverging from the military theme once again with this next build submitted by Fencer, featuring the little Beechcraft Bonanza F-33. General Aviation often doesn't get the recognition it deserves in the modelling world, so it's great to see an appearance in this GB, and I'm glad this topic has facilitated it. This is a gorgeous little model with a very nice and crisp paint job and the perfect amount of weathering to make it pop. The exhaust stains on the underside are a great little addition as well. Very well done and thanks for submitting your build, Fencer. Now for another Second World War entry. This is the famed Wildcat, built by Jake aka Flying Frogs from over on my Discord server. This is an absolutely textbook build with really nice paintwork and weathering to match. I'm a massive fan of what you've done with this. The landing gear assembly on the Wildcat is also a very fiddly one so good job in that respect as well. It's been fantastic seeing your skills progress in the hobby over the time you've spent on my Discord, so a massive well done to you. The sky's the limit. Thanks so much for taking part. Does anyone fancy another beautifully made jet aircraft? Well, if you do, Freedom 141 has you covered, with this absolutely gorgeous SU-30 coming in next in this rundown. I absolutely love this model. The camouflage demarcation is pulled off fantastically, and that subtle weathering job really makes this aircraft stand out. I know this is a bit specific, but I really love the work that's been done on that canopy. The struts have been masked to perfection, and the glass itself is crystal clear. Truly a professional build from Freedom here. Thank you so much for submitting this. The next build on my list was submitted by Jack's Hobby Station, and it features the old reliable Sherman. There's some great techniques going on with this build. I love the settled snow effect featured on the vehicle as it really helps to give the model a frostbitten appearance. The addition of the spent shell casings on the roof of the turret are also a great touch along with the figures which give it a lived in feel. Overall great work here. A very shiny aircraft is up next now being the N1K1 built by James Blonde and what a superb build this is. Metallic paint jobs are often some of the hardest to pull off effectively, but this one looks super smooth and very well applied with little to no build up of metallic particles. It's definitely a commendable build of a fantastic looking aircraft. Great work here James and thank you so much for submitting and competing in this GB. It seems Shermans are popular because here comes another. This is the classic E8 variant of the M4A3, submitted by JFK. This is overall a lovely little build, with some great build-ups of mud on the lower chassis, which really place this model into the context of a sludgy battleground. The inclusion of logs and the stowage also really add to the model's overall effect. So all in all, great work here JFK, and thank you so much for your build. Up next we have a couple of debut submissions from a new arrival to our previous GBs. It is of course Kek Tank. The first of which is this Trumpeter BRDM-1, a Soviet amphibious scout car. And where do I even start? This build is truly beautiful, featuring a plethora of weathering and painting effects that truly display Kek's high level of skill as a modeler. 
Everything from as little as the metallic chips on the rusted tow cables to the dry spattered mud effects along the sides have been carefully considered and thought about. Very, very good work with this. The second of Keck's two submissions was this beautiful little R39 vignette, which somehow manages to top the previous armoured car submission. Once again, this little gem features a load of highly perfected weathering and painting effects, which come together to produce a super realistic little scene. The subject matter is also a great choice, as the mechanic working on the tank's engine really adds life to both the vehicle and the vignette itself. Another truly beautiful model, and thank you so much for your submissions, Keck Tank. The next submission on my list is another vignette, but not the kind you're used to. Submitted by Lego Lover 64, this little 1 to 144 scale F14 Tomcat is truly in a battling pose in this scene. The water and missile effects have really been pulled off fantastically with this build, giving it a dynamic and effective overall look. I'm also a massive fan of that damaged paint effect that has been worked into the wings, despite the inherently small size of the model. A massive thanks goes out to Lego Lover for submitting. Staying within the theme of US aviation, we have a Phantom submitted by Luke. Once again featuring a diorama base, this iconic aircraft has been portrayed really effectively here, with some great choices of colours there and the very good decision to include some figures. You can never go wrong with a classic Phantom. Very good work there Luke, and thank you so much for submitting. It's an Osprey next, a first for the aircraft type on the channel. This particular model was submitted by Marsh Milos, another regular in these group builds, and it is a fantastic representation of the real aircraft. The pre-shading and weathering featured on this build are absolutely perfect, with just the right amount of black showing through around the panel lines. It really helps to make the aircraft stand out on the whole. The canopy has also been masked very well, and the aircraft looks generally well put together, so great job with this. Muggins is up next now with his submission, and it's another deviation from the norm. This is the GPB-04 Bear Guy, which is yet another Gundam submission. I believe it is another suit of some kind, so if you guys know more about it, then feel free to leave a comment down below. Again, I'm no expert with Gundam, however this looks like some very nice and clean work, with perfectly executed colours. Thank you Muggins so much for submitting such a unique model. It's a helicopter, and a unique one at that. This UN Sea King was submitted to the GB by our very own Sea King enthusiast, Oli5050. There's definitely no doubting that this aircraft is his favourite. Featuring the very unique white UN scheme, this model is truly an eye-catcher and adds a lot to the group build as a whole. There's some lovely masking going on with this build, along with an overall fantastic finish. So, very good stuff, and thank you for submitting. The next build is, I believe, the first time an Indian aircraft has been featured on the channel. Coming from Sheep Shagger, great name by the way, this is the Hal Ajit F1, which is a fighter converted export of the Folland Nat, as I'm sure you can tell. This aircraft is looking great with its Indian Air Force colours, and that blue underside is truly eye catching. The metallic paint on those drop tanks and payload is also very well applied and boosts the overall appearance of the model. Great work here, and thank you so much for submitting. We're down to the last three entries now, the first of which being a beautiful little Tiger II from Sheriff 013. Having performed very well in the last GB, Sheriff has definitely returned with a vengeance. It's a fantastic model, demonstrating some very well executed advanced techniques, not only in the macro but also on the micro scale, with some gorgeous superficial and deeper chipping combinations that combine to really give the model a fantastic appearance. The weathering overall is also very nice, all in all making this a perfect little tiger. Fantastic work here, Sheriff. Lastly, we have two builds submitted by the fantastic Spartacus Rye, aka James. The first of which is a gorgeous representation of the Spitfire Mark 5B, complete with exposed gun bays and some beautiful shading work. This model is truly a testament to James's skill as a modeler, featuring crisp and confident overall appearance. 
That paint job is definitely something to be proud of. Very nice stuff here, James, and thank you for submitting it. The second of James's two submissions, which will also cap off the submissions for this group build, is an absolutely textbook Blue Nose Mustang. I'm a massive fan of this paint scheme, having built something very similar a while back, so this model stood out to me immediately. The metallic paint job has been pulled off remarkably well, and I'm a big fan of that weathering. It's significant, but not overdoing it. All in all, a pair of beautiful builds, and what a way to cap off the list of submissions. Thank you so much to everyone that participated. So, it's the moment that we've all been waiting for. Time to reveal the top three builds selected by me and my team, along with the community vote winner selected by my Discord server. Before we kick off with that, however, I'd just like to say another massive thanks to my Discord team, consisting of Aiden, Aki and Aaron. As I mentioned before, these guys are absolutely crucial to the group build process, so I can't thank you three enough. Another thanks also goes out to everyone who submitted a build. We really appreciate the enthusiasm and community engagement. So with that said, let's take a look at the community winner. With a very respectable count of votes and a suitably impressive build to match, the keeper of this title for this group build goes to Spartacus Rye, aka James, with his fantastic depiction of the Spitfire Mark 5B. It's a truly well-deserved position with a beautiful model and the community voted well, so very well done with this. The title of third place, kicking off the build selected by me and my team, is up next. It was an immensely difficult decision to make, as there were so many fantastic builds featured in this group build, so we thank you all once again for your impressive efforts. It had to come down to three, however, so the title of third place goes once again to Sheriff with his gorgeous Tiger 2. As I mentioned, this is a beautiful display of modelling skill, so we just had to pick it for the top three. Very, very good work here, mate, and thank you for submitting. And in second place, the runner-up of the MW Favourites group build of 2023, we have the gorgeous model that is Freedom's Flanker. The second we saw this build, we knew it had to take a spot in the top three. It's textbook and beyond, featuring beautifully painted camouflage and subtle weathering to match. Overall, a gorgeous model that is well deserving of the runners up spot. And now in first place, taking the top spot and simultaneously dropping our jaws, we have Keck Tank's incredible R39 vignette, featuring figures to complement. Both me, Aiden, Aaron and Aki all agreed that this had to take the top spot as a truly inspirational piece of modelling that I hope will inspire all of you guys watching now. Thank you so much for submitting this, Keck. If any of you fancy taking a closer look at more of Keck's builds, I've linked his Instagram account in the description and I've put it on screen now. Very well done yet again. Well, that pretty much sums up the coverage of this MW Favourites group build. A big thanks goes out once again to all that participated, along with my group build team over on Discord, and also to all of you watching and supporting the content. I really appreciate it. A special mention also goes out to all of my MW channel members here on YouTube. Your continued support is absolutely invaluable and I can't thank you all enough. If you'd like to find out more about what being a channel member entails, along with the wide range of perks, feel free to click the link down in the description. Many thanks yet again. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you around here again soon. Take care and keep on modelling. Bye.